Almost overnight, Lake Takana Wind Power has brought development to a remote, neglected and sparsely populated part of Kenya. But it also challenges the traditional culture and way of life of the local pastoralists. Development brings many good things, but there is also the other side of the coin. The story of Lake Takana Wind Power is also a story about the dilemmas of development. Lochilian Yangayo was born in the village of Loyangalani on the shores of Lake Takana. Today, at the age of 59, he's a clan elder with influence on public and organizational matters. He welcomes the development that Lake Takana Wind Power brings to the local area. From my point of view as an elder, Lake Takana Wind Power has been good for the community living in this area. Most importantly, it has brought us fresh water, says Lochilian Yangayo. For him and his fellow villagers, Lake Takana Wind Power brings change for the better. A new road has made it far easier and much faster to get to and from the area. And there is even peace here nowadays. Before the inception of the project, this place was known as a center for cattle rustling between the various communities. It was like a battlefield, explains Lochilian Yangayo. But nowadays the communities understand that peace is the first pillar of development. If there's no peace, these kind of projects cannot succeed here, says the clan elder. The 365 wind turbines are erected on land where the locals and their livestock used to roam freely. And this is now the other side of the coin. The consortium and the local government have been taken to court for not consulting adequately with the locals on the lease of land in time. Lake Takana Wind Power disputes this claim. We have had our presence in the area for about 10 years before we actually started construction. We have had very intensive uh, engagement with the communities over a long period of time, many, many years, and we continue to do so. Dominic Davelin is a local who now works as a field program officer for Winds of Change, the corporate social responsibility arm of Lake Takana Wind Power. I know the people. I'm a resident of this place. I know people all the way from Loyangalani to Laisamis. Many people know me. Driving around in the area daily, Dominic Dabalin spends a lot of time talking to the local people, listening to their views on the impacts of the large wind farm in their neighborhood. The first time it started, there was a lot of a lot of complaint, you know, there's something new. People thought their land is taken, people thought uh, now that they are going to be fed, the land is going to be fenced. But with the time, the attitude is changing. We are not taking away any land. We are not taking away anything. And the obligation we have is to allow, to allow people in the area to make use of the land as they did before. And that's exactly what happens. The part of land that is occupied by the turbines and the areas that are fenced for security, which is the substation and our village down there, um, it, it is a total of 87 acres. 87 on 40,000. In Loyangalani, Lochilian Yangayo follows the land dispute very closely. According to the clan elder, the plaintiffs are outsiders, claiming to represent the local people. It makes me very angry that some people living with their families in Nairobi are misleading the community. How can they tell us that this project is bad when we have experienced a lot of good things? We cannot accept that, says Lochilian Yangayo. While the footprint of Lake Takana wind power seems relatively small in the vast landscape, the wind farm will change the way of life of the local communities, says Martin Marani, an expert in environment and development. On the negative side, of course, uh, you'll be talking about impacts like erosion of local culture because of the many, many people who come from outside to come and work on the project. And therefore, there's going to be that interaction and uh, which will lead to uh, erosion of culture. The Lake Takana Wind Power Consortium is well aware of that dilemma. When that happens, of course you get the ills that development brings. We can start seeing that some criminal activity is starting, 
Um, there is alcohol being consumed where it never used to be. Uh, there is a, uh, some prostitution activity that is starting. And Lake Tacana Wind Power has programs in place to support local community for years to come. And on balance, Martin Morani is optimistic. This project is going to change. It's going to change the local economic landscape. Yeah, and uh, I think for the better of the community. For Lochilian Yangayo, the coming of the wind farm spells hope for the future of his community. We hope that development will make it possible for our children and our grandchildren to have a good life without poverty, diseases and conflicts like we've had, says Lochilian Yangayo.